and welcome back to Feed the Beast and Modded Mind Pack Aquarians, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, what have I done between this and last episode? Nothing. Oh, yeah, I did. I lied. I got fluid ducks and item ducks. Very easy to make. Uh, all they need is. Let's get an item ducks or a. Come on, any minute now. Load. Item ducks is this we've got an item ducks opaque so it's a lead ingot surrounded by a tin ingot two ingots and yeah it's copper with the um fluid duct and tin with the item duct so yeah they're easy to make just quite a bit of power and what all i did basically was that speeds up the smelting of any items i put in it so yeah and they all come out into the casting basin. A casting basin is basically an upside crafting table, casting table. And they've come out as nice blocks. So I've got lots and lots of metal now. I can actually start on doing stuff. So what am I going to actually start doing this episode? Well, and it's <coughs> a good question if I wasn't coughing. That is a good question. Well, and what I'm going to start, if you see there's some there, I'm waiting until I get nine of each of them. Um, what I'm going to do this episode is, I am going to start on another quest. Let's have a look in the book. Where's the book? The book. I know I have a book somewhere. I need a proper sorting system. Okay, let's click to start learning to skyblock. And we are... We can't quite complete that yet. We've got a fluid ox. I've just shown you those. But we need a pneumatic server, which means redstone. So I think probably automation would be a good idea. Let's get automatic. Um, we're going to need an aqueous accumulator, autonomous activator, and a vacuum hopper. What do we need for an aqueous accumulator? A Q U. Um, oh, we're going to need a redstone, aren't we? Okay, it looks like we're going to have to manually get at least one piece of redstone in order to get an aqueous accumulator and all that good stuff so we are going to have to damn it i honestly thought that we could get away without it um and there aren't any other quests we're going to have to get some more dust damn it okay that's doable now uh, let's get a hammer all we need is literally one i actually know two pieces of redstone would be brilliant but but what do we need for an autonomous activator Autonomous activator is. Uh, you don't need redstone. You need redstone, so we need at least three pieces of redstone for automation. Yikes, that's a lot of redstone. I say a lot, it's a very low drop rate. I say a very low drop rate, I think it's a very low drop rate. I'm not 100% sure what the drop rate is now that you've put me on the spot. Stop putting me on the spot! I don't know! Stop it! Stop it! Shush! Okay, so we need two stone. Uh, we need a pickaxe actually to get the stone. We oh, yeah, also made a wrench to be able to wrench those bad boys into shape. So we're going to need two pieces of stone. Just actually, let's make it four for a hammer. Two hammers. There we go, four pieces of stone. And do do do. Let's go make a hammer. Let's go get the crafting table. And do there probably have a hammer hidden away somewhere but I literally couldn't find it in the two seconds that I was looking for one so I think yeah this should be good okay let's put the sand into dust as soon as we have a pulverizer this will be sort of we can automate that but we don't have a pulverizer yet because we need power and we need redstone so let's where did the sieve go there was a sieve there was a sieve there. What the hell happened to the sieve? Would help if I could spell sieve. Sieve is... Sieve was there. What the hell? We have a disappearing sieve. I quite literally put it there and haven't moved it it's gone it's was there and it's not now um just to save time i'm going to cheat in a new one because you you saw it in the last video um i had a sieve there and it's 
disappeared now. It's not there. If I find it, I will delete the one in world. So, yeah. What the hell happened? I've just no idea. Um, back inventory world cheat mode. Okay. Give me a sip. I'm not in cheat mode. Okay. Game mode C. I'm not up to the server. Again, what? Oh, yeah, because this is a new server. I updated to 3.0.1. Op bash full. Nope, sorry, I, up I upgraded to 3.1.0. Tiny mistake. Giant. Back to game. Game mode C. One stiv. It was an oak sieve we had there. And. Yeah, let's get rid of. We can't get rid of any of you. Let's go into inventory. Let's move you up there. To do. One sieve. What the hell? Yeah, I normally wouldn't do this, but it's. Just, what the hell happened? I don't even know. Game mode S. Oh, and now we're in cheat mode. Okay. Uh, inventory. Recipe mode. Okay, options. World. Recipe mode. Much better. And now we can full screen, so we're back to full quality. And yeah, let's carry on with sieving our dust. What the hell happened there? I have no, literally no idea. Oh yeah, I also upgraded that thing to have lava under it. So it's now... At a rate of 0 0.2 millibuckets per tick, which is a lot faster. So, yeah. I mean, this this sieve thing's just throwing me right off. It was there. It was there last episode. Unless I, I literally remember sieving stuff in it last episode. So, you know, that's quite stone dust. It's just odd. Very odd. Okay. Um, we literally have no... We have certus quartz dust, but we have no... To do redstone dust, we have gunpowder, and yikes, we're gonna have to get some sand up. Uh, let's ignore the melon. I'm gonna have to get a lot of sand because I honestly thought that we'd have enough to do this, but maybe not. Let's get sand, 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 and I can always skip this out on the YouTubes. So, yeah, this is just ridiculous, honestly. Things go missing, I realise this is not the best start to an episode I've ever had. Although I do love, is this updated? The currently harvestable effective tool pickaxe. Um, it's quite cool. Does it automatically detect that it's a... Uh, what is it? Does it automatically detect that... Oh no, that's not currently harvestable. Um, how is cobblestone harvestable? That's a bit odd. I'm just harvesting cobblestone here. It's a natural resource, so I'm harvesting it. It doesn't grow. Well, technically it does. I'm using a cobble gen, but in real world, it doesn't grow. In real world. Into real world. Into webs that's not... Into world that's not webs. Okay, let's just get some sand. Just place your haphazardly. Do do. There we go. Convert you all into sand. Gravel, gravel, gravel into sand. It's pretty easy. And to do. That's your. Nope. The sieve's just bugging me. Honestly. Where the hell did the sieve go? To do, to do, 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 do. This music's actually getting catchy. Um, I hope you actually have noticed or like the background music. Uh, it's just a new addition that I'm trying out. Because it just. The background noise was just getting to me, so I thought if you don't listen to it and you listen to some music instead, that might actually help and it might save me have to edit stuff out in the post production. Uh, I've actually got it so that it's playing whilst I'm playing, if that makes sense. Uh, so it may be a bit too loud, it may be a bit too quiet. I guarantee to have everything sorted out by at least episode 7. Everything should be perfect, setting wise. Uh, this may, I'm actually trying at 60 frames per second as well because I could notice that there was a little bit of visual 
battery in the last video uh, when it was moving about things were a bit too pixelated so I'm not sure whether that's my encoder or the frames per second so I'm trying to this on 60 frames per second and everything should hopefully fingers crossed be good because you know it's sort of like the maximum settings um, I do have a computer that could possibly handle it um, but I think the computer, oh yeah, one redstone. I think the computer's handling it, but I'm not sure whether my internet can handle it. It's very, fa very fast internet. It's like 20 gigabytes, not 20 gigabytes, 20 megabytes per second. I'm not joking. Upload ridiculously fast, but I'm still not 100% sure whether it can take 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080 constant streaming. It's, it's, it's an experiment. It's, let's just say it's an experiment. So... If all else fails, we can just blame it on, blame it on the internet. That why not? If this episode fails, blame it on the internet. <laughs> internet, it's your fault. Should have been faster. Okay, so let's hurry up with you. Come on, one, two more pieces left. One more piece left, and we're good. We got three redstone. Awesome. We can actually. Now we, what we're gonna need is some more sand actually, because we're gonna need glass. Damn it! I probably should have calculated that. We're going to need how much glass? Probably about four pieces of glass. So let's make it eight because we can. Make sure we're not wasting coal. Seven, eight. And down you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, just because I can, I think we can smelt them down in here. Actually, that'll save coal in it. Oh god, we need one more. We need one more so that we don't derp everything up. No, we don't. Oh well. We're using one more anyway. And as you may be able to hear, we still have builders next door. Unfortunately, if I drop you there, does that automatically pick you up? Yes! Yes, it does. I thought so. It's just something that I've been suspecting for a while. I've found bones and random apples in these kind of things, and I was just wondering if... Oh, I hear burning. Ah! I know where the sieve went now. I know where the sieve went. That would explain a lot. <laughs> okay. Right, we're moving you outside because, as you see, we've got lava underneath it. Lava sets fire to stuff, and guess what? The sieve's wood. The sieve is wood. So I really shouldn't have cheated that in, but oh well. Now I know exactly what the hell happened there. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't. I'm sure I've had sieves close to this kind of thing before. Uh, oh well. Moving you outside to a safe zone, and we're gonna have to work on some more string in just a bit. To do, plonk you down. Uh, safe zone, safe zone. Let's put you here because I need you for the lava in there. Just a temporary thing. I know I can automate this. Um, I will automate that in a little bit. Once I actually have the stuff to automate it. But for now, actually it can automate it now, but no we can't because I need to automate cobblestone going in there. We don't have a cobble gen option that's basically not that. That's rubbish. That's As cobblestone generation goes, that's a fairly rubbish generation system. So, oh well, how are we for sands to do? Come on, one more tick and we will have the glass we need. I mean, I'll do the string off air actually. The string off air is probably the best idea to do. Come on, the glass is going into there, and it should give us clear glass because it gives us quite a lot of glass per. There we go. Clear glass, awesome. Now this can be used in replacement of normal glass, I believe. I hope. Uh, let us try this out. We're also going to need some iron. I don't know why I said that's a question. We're also going to need some iron and some. Stuff with an upward inflection. I'm not becoming one of those people that you know say everything with an upward inflection. Uh, okay, so let's get the iron is what we needed, and I've just completely ignored it. Iron, 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 block of tin, aluminium, copper, iron. Perfect. And let us get you and for a thingy, you know, a thingy. Thingies, it is you, you, and then. Is that not right? Oh, 
Yeah, that's right. Pneumatic servo. Perfect. And we can complete one quest, which is moving molten metals. Claim reward. Do 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 do. In you go, and let us open this basic reward bag with a butterfly in. Oh, look at the butterfly. Oh. I'll save that for later because it's very useful in tree breeding. Although it's not actually necessary now that we have one or two mods in the pack. But oh uh, well, uh, we can uh, just carry on with the illusion that butterflies do something. Yeah, why not? Okay, so what else do I want to do? Okay, I wanted to get onto the it's automatic. So we need an aqueous accumulator. Let us use you on the aqueous accumulator. And we need some gold for this and some more glass. Um, how much glass do we need? We need four glass. Perfect. We're good. Almost like I planned that. I didn't. I honestly didn't. Um, so for a machine frame, it is you. Our machine frame. Oh, we're going to need some more glass, aren't we? I just realised this for um, to do something. Oh yeah, for the next thing that we're making, the autonomous activator. We're going to need some more glass. Three. Let's just get 18 gla 18 sounds. Why not? We've got all the resources for it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're also going to use up our bucket in this recipe. So, and we really need the bucket. So, probably best if we make a new one of those. And eighteen. Perfect. So we've got eighteen. Um, eighteen gravel. We need to convert you into sands. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to be ADD about this. Nine. One, two, do 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 And we're good for the sands. Let's plonk you all in there. Um. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, I'll, I'll remind you towards the end of the video, but I'm actually going away to Liverpool for a little bit. Um, perfect timing, start the channel and go to Liverpool, but uh, it's sort of unavoidable. I'm in a amateur dramatic performance. So, aqueous. In fact, no, first thing we really should make is this autonomous activator. Autonomous activator. What's an auto package I do? I have no idea. Okay, auto minus activator. It's om. Oh no, it's auton with an N. Okay, so you. Um, we've got you. We just need a piston. You need four cobblestone for that, so let's go grab that. Four cobblestone coming right up. Oh, one. Two. Two. Three, four, cobblestone. Okay, we've only got two. If only we had an item magnet, that would make that a lot better. But oh well. Okay, so we needed a piston, which is you, 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 um, some wood. Actually, we got planks there, so we don't need to get the. We don't need to make more planks. And iron, and that's not gone there. And a redstone. Perfect, a piston. Let's grab you and it goes. We're gonna need a chest as well, aren't we? We're gonna need more planks for that, so in you go. And one chest, piston. What is it? A chest, piston, ah, right. Pneumatic servo, two diamonds, two emeralds. To do. And if I remember rightly, it's tin. Oh no, it's Invar. Okay, that's going to need a little bit of work. Okay, for Invar, we're going to need to wait for the glass to all... Damn it! Okay, how do we make Invar? Invar is... Invar is, if I remember rightly, it's Iron and Ferrous Orb. I can't remember what the ratios are. Um, it is 3 to 1, 2 to 1. 2 to 1, so we need 2 iron and 1 ferrous. It doesn't have to be pulverised since we're using this thing. So, doof. You in there. And 
two of you to one of you, and you can go back in there. That should give us three ingots, and we're also going to need a casting table to be able to we'll need you and you, just because we want one ingot out at a time. We don't want a block of it, because we would have enough for a block. If we made blocks, that would be a bit overkill. So whilst we're waiting for that, let's harvest you up. Yeah, we're getting lots of melons. Um, melons are definitely going to be my food. Uh, definitely my food choice of choice. What? But at the moment, they are just ridiculously good to grow. So yum 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 yum. Let's eat you up. And Badoof. come on. Two more. Two more, and then we can one more. Although we've still got some backed up in there. It's taking a while. Why did I have to do that? Why did I have to do it then? Oh well. Um, so let us have a look what else we can do with that quest. Uh, vacuum hopper we can't get because that needs obsidian. Uh, so we're actually going to want to make... In fact, wait a sec. Why am I making you when I could automate my cobblestone production, get stuff up, and that would be better. So let's quickly change what we're doing. We're going to make an igneous extruder. One igneous extruder is a piston, a machine frame, pneumatic servo, two glass and two tin. So we've pretty much got everything. So we need the tin. Tin, tin, tin. And it saves us waiting on that. I'll make the rest of the stuff up in the ready for next episode. In you go. One igneous extruder. Awesome. And you can go there. Just for now. Uh, I'll probably move you a later date. In fact, I'll definitely move you right now. Because we can actually, right now, if we move, automate one little thing, and that is our lava generation. And, we can, and we've already automated our cobblestone just by making that thing. So, to automate you, we just need something going into the top. So, let's plonk you there temporarily. And configuration, blue is output, no key. So the bottom needs to be an output. Yep, no other side is shown output, so the bottom is output. And you need a bucket of lava. In you go. And a bucket of water. And you will instantly start generating cobblestone. And to do, come on, up you go. As soon as this starts generating cobblestone, in you go. Yes, see it's instantly disappearing from there and going into there. You'll see the amount of cobblestone in the little blue box increasing. And I'm sorry for constantly picking my nose, it's a bit sniffy today. So yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Now how do we get it out of there? Well, we need a blue duct. Which I just so happen to have some spare somewhere. Blue duct. Don't prove me wrong, I know I have you somewhere. Blue duct. Here, fluid, fluid, fluid out. Okay. FLU. There you are. I knew I mistook it for a micro block. Okay, in you, there you go. And we need to wrench that to output mode and give it a redstone signal to make it work. So, one lever. Do we have any levers? Um. No, but we've got plenty of sticks and I can grab a cobblestone from our cobblestone gen. Okay, so yeah, perfect. We have cobblestone gen and we don't have sticks. They're not sticks, they're planks. Okay, you there, you there. And if we do this, the amount of lava in there is increasing. And basically any lava that's been generated by that is instantly going into our sit tank. We have perfectly automated our lava production. Uh, it's very slow but there are ways to increase it uh, including uh, I will just once we have more redstone I will show you that because it needs redstone uh, the one thing that I need to do I'm basically going to make some netherrack because there are sort of three tiers to heating this thing up at least I think there's only three tiers there's a, a torch underneath it which heats it to 0.1 millibuckets per tick there's lava 0.2 and finally, there is redstone, redstone, netherstone, which heats it up to a 0.3 millibuckets per tick, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to want that. But anyway, all the class is done. So let us quickly, before the episode ends, uh, let us plonk you there 
and let's grab our, oh wait, we've got the ingot cast, and one ferrous, we've already got the ferrous in our inventory, don't we? Let's plonk you in there, you in there, and what we need to do is quickly turn that off so that we can have all the metals mixed, and yeah, by next episode, that should have turned into Invar. So yeah, that's awesome. I'll just craft up the rest of the stuff uh, whilst I'm off air, and I will be with you next time, because this is going to be it for the episode. Yeah. So, see you all next time, and thanks for watching Living with the Beast, Feeding with the Beast. That's not what this is. This is Aquarian Skies on the Feed the Beast mod pack. Uh, Living with the Beast has unfortunately shut down as a server. So, bye guys, thanks for watching, and goodbye! Oh, <laughs> my